everybody, Miss Jenny from the ECC here. Um, today I have a Scholastic Magazine to do with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> here we go. All right, so this magazine is all about caterpillars growing up. And when a cater caterpillar grows up, what do you think they become? Maybe you can help me finish this rhyme at the bottom. It says, this caterpillar crawls, it slowly inches by, but soon it will grow up and change into a butterfly. <laughs> All right, let's turn the page and find out what's next. All right, we're gonna start over here with our yellow box. And in the yellow box, ooh, do you guys know what that is? That looks kind of funny. It looks like it's hanging on a leaf. Hmm, that is a caterpillar egg. So inside that egg is a little caterpillar, a baby caterpillar. Do you think the baby caterpillar inside the egg can fly yet, like butterflies? Hmm, probably not, right? I don't think they have wings yet when they're inside the egg. So if you have a piece of paper and a pencil at home, you can do this part with me, um, or you can just follow along. So it asked us, do you think the caterpillar can fly yet inside the egg? And we said, no. So we would go ahead and circle N-O, or if you have a piece of paper at home, then you can write N-O, okay? Now the next one, the red box, is a caterpillar, cool. He's got some cool stripes on him, huh? And the caterpillar has now hatched out of the egg and he's a, a full grown caterpillar. He's pretty cool looking. Now, do you think that this caterpillar can fly yet? Probably not, right? He doesn't have any wings, he can't fly. So we would go ahead and circle no, or write N-O for no. And in our green box, we have a chrysalis. Hmm. Some of you guys might call it um, a cocoon, um, but really it's called a chrysalis. So if a caterpillar grows up and turns into a butterfly, it's called a chrysalis. If a caterpillar grows up and turns into a moth, then it's called a cocoon. So since our caterpillar grows and becomes a butterfly, we call ours a chrysalis. Now, do you think that the caterpillar that's inside this chrysalis, do you think he can fly yet? I don't think so. Not while he's inside the chrysalis. So we're going to go ahead and circle no or write N-O. Now in the last box, we have a beautiful butterfly. Look at that cool pattern on his wings. So the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis and it finally has wings. Do you think that it can fly yet? Yeah, it can fly, it's got wings, it's ready to fly. So we would write Y-E-S, yes. All right, now at the bottom, we have some <clears throat> cool butterflies. And it's asking you guys if you think that all butterflies look the same. Well, no way, because look at all these. They all look different, don't they? So the, this is the white admiral, the red lacewing, the Adonis blue, banded orange tiger, green bird wing. Hmm. Which one is your guys' favorite? I think my favorite is Adonis Blue. I think it's cool to see blue butterflies. Pretty neat. All right, now I'm gonna flip over to the back page and while I find the back page, you guys can do what this little guy's doing and flap your arms like a butterfly and fly around a little bit. All 
All right, my little butterflies, come on back. Now on the back page, it says what kind of butterfly? So you guys have a job on this page and <clears throat> you're gonna help me figure out which caterpillar belongs to which butterfly. So first things first, we're gonna look at our chart right here. Here's our chart. And at the top, we have the blue morpho butterfly. Here's to what he looks like as a caterpillar. He's pretty crazy looking. <laughs> and then he turns into this beautiful blue butterfly. The next one is the monarch butterfly. So this is what he looks like when he's a caterpillar. He's got green and black and white stripes. And then he turns into this orange and black butterfly, the monarch. And our last one is called 88. And he, he's kind of funny looking. He almost looks slimy. And he's got these crazy looking antenna. And then he turns into this butterfly right here. He's got a cool pattern on his bottom wings. So now at the bottom of the page, we have three questions. Number one right here says, which caterpillar grows up to look like this? All right, so we're gonna have to go back up to our chart and find this butterfly and figure out which, butter, which caterpillar belongs to it. So let's find, oh, there, the blue morpho. We're gonna follow it over and see, remember that crazy caterpillar? We're gonna come back down here and find that crazy caterpillar again. There he is. And then number two, which caterpillar grows up to look like this? Hmm, that orange and black one. Let's find it up in our chart right here. And then we've got this caterpillar right here. Oh, that was the striped one. The green and the white and the black stripes. So let's go back down to number two and find, no, not that. Well, there he is, the striped one. And number three, which caterpillar grows up to look like this? Hmm. Okay, back up to our chart. And here he is. We're gonna follow him over. Oh, he's the green slime. Oh yeah, and his crazy antenna. Okay, let's go back down, number three. And mm, not that one, not the striped one. There, those crazy antenna. There he is, right there. So, you guys got all those questions. We got one, two, three, but now we have a bonus question. Do you guys think you can get the bonus question too? I bet you, you can. It says, which butterfly's name is a number? Hmm. All right, so... Let's figure this out. We have the first one, the blue butterfly, called the blue morpho. Now, is that a number, blue morpho? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, so not the blue morpho. How about the monarch butterfly? Is that a number, monarch? No, not the monarch butterfly. We have one left called the 88. Ooh, 88, 88, that's a number. Perfect, we found him, there he is. You guys got the bonus. <laughs> All right, you guys, now I have a little craft for you um, that should be really easy to do at home um, after we've just learned about some caterpillars and butterflies. So I've got my paints here, they're all messy. And I'm gonna choose a few colors for my butterfly. Now I said I like the blue butterflies. So I'm gonna pick out two different blues and maybe a black for my butterfly. And <clears throat> I'm gonna fold my paper in half. Just like that. And on one half of the paper, I'm gonna drip some paint on there. So I'm gonna look back at my blue morpho butterfly. 
he's got black around the edges. So I'm gonna use my black paint to go maybe around the edge a little bit. We'll see how that does. And then I need some blues for the middle. I'm gonna start with the darker blue and drip some paint on there. And one more blue, the light blue. Drip some paint. Okay, you guys, you ready for the next part? This is the fun part. We get to flip over and fold our page again. We're gonna press down. Ooh, see the paint coming out? Gonna press all around. Make sure we get that paint all spread around inside. And then when you open it up, what do you think we'll have? Let's see, let's open it up. Ooh, cool. So after you have gotten all your paint on there and <clears throat> you're ready to finish, you gotta wait for it to dry and then you can cut it out into a butterfly shape. And you've got a symmetrical butterfly. You guys remember what symmetrical means? The same pattern on each side, right? And all butterfly wings are symmetrical. So I've got my symmetrical butterfly wings and when they dry, I will cut them out and make them into a pretty butterfly shape. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my lesson for the day. Bye.